All right, this is part three of exploring hidden meanings or the true meanings behind Rick and Morty season two, episode six, the Ricks must be crazy. And this, and this part, nothing you do matters. Your existence is a lie is presented by Rick. And what I want to do is I want to ex explore this clip with you really quick. Just finished cooking us a feast! Oh, you monster! Whoa, bad tour. Seven! Hey, you gotta sign out! Nothing you do matters! Your existence is a lie! If that were really true, then... I'm here to see Ron Mendelson. Third floor. Would you like to go to dinner? Uh, no. Okay, so this is exactly the right thing to do. Like, nothing does matter. Like, he sure, he looks sad that this happened, but that's because he was attached to the outcome. He was expecting to have a yes. When he's expecting to have a yes, he gets upset when it doesn't happen. This has happened to me countless times over, say, some videos that I've done on the channel where, like, I'll just, I'll show you guys this. I feel like it's worth exploring this a little bit. Just because. It's kind of interesting, and I think it's pretty cool to see. But so basically I could say I could get upset or something like this, but I, I'm entirely grateful. It's absolutely fantastic. I love every second of it, like seeing these videos. However, and I, well, I guess there's actually not a however, but it's fantastic, like seeing these views. But like the, there could be some where it's just like they don't perform in the way that I want them to because I was expecting for an outcome. So I could be sad like this guy or what I could do instead, like how he's happy right here in this frame. Like he's all happy and he's like, oh, I'm excited. Yeah, this is wonderful because he gets to be the one that decides what does matter. Like he's the one that gets to decide whether or not he's going to put significance and think about this, or if he's going to like improve for next time. And the next time when he does run into say a similar situation with say a beautiful woman that he sees, he'll have more confidence. He'll be more willing to have a conversation with her. He'll be more willing to like maybe ask some different questions or do something a little bit more creative or whatever it may be. But at least he had the initiative and the drive to want to say something to her. That didn't have to be something that they had to do, but he decided that that was something that he wanted to try. He's like, well, if nothing matters, then I might as well just do this. And that's the great part is like, when nothing matters, you get to decide what matters. So like he decided to have a, a significant meaning between him and her. He didn't have to do that. Like that was his choice. Like with, and that's how it is with everything. But like, it's so hard to explain this and kind of like wrap one's head around it until you fully experience it. But that's where detaching from the outcome will help out a lot and helping you realize that you're the one that gets to decide the meaning that you have. And once you decide and understand that the meaning that you have is all up into your existence and whatever existence that you have, there is something that is going to be happening because even him doing this, like it was him planting a seed. Like it was him be deciding that like, this is something that I want to try. I've never done this before because I thought that my meaning had some sort of purpose or point, which it does, but like you're the one that can decide what that purpose or point is. And from that point forward, he decided to do what he wanted to do, which is incredible. And it's what I hope that you you guys are doing with your life right now. If you are, comment that down below, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. I know this one was a bit shorter. I guess I probably could have left this up to two parts, but I felt like it, it was going to be too long with three parts or with two parts or one part, so I want to break it down and try something new. This is what I do, you guys. Like It's just about detaching from the outcome and realizing that like it is true. Nothing you do matters. Your existence is a lie. Like The existence that you know and have been told has just been preconditioned into your psyche, into your thinking. kind of talked about this a little bit in part one. Whereas like you can change your existence. You can go from different reality to different reality. Like You can go back and like smash like previous versions that maybe other people or you yourself have created because like and when we think about it, Rick is the one that did create him. And then he did create that. So in a sense, like Rick is smashing something that he created, which created him. It's a different concept. It's just a different way of thinking, but something that I hope you guys explore a little bit further. Um, but yeah, with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video and keep keeping on. Thanks for watching.